Expectations have never been higher. Success never so demanding. And the future never as promising. The time is now. The whole idea behind this piece was to promote Robert Morris basketball. And we wanted to do something so that the fans could see just how important this team is to the entire university as a whole. I'm at Robert Morris uh, as long as Robert Morris will have me. Roger Price, of course, led Robert Morris to the NCAA tournament this year. Now he hopes to do the same at Rutgers next year or in the coming years. Named the head coach for the Scarlet Knights earlier today. You can't, sometimes you can't control what happens to you, gentlemen. You can control 100% how you respond. What we've done in the past, you know, we talk about all the time, it's that's in the past. Our formula is the same, it never changes. We are very, very thrilled to name uh, Andy Tool as, as the new head coach of our men's basketball program here at Robert Marsh University. It was actually a good relief, because if we had to got, like, a, get another coach, then it would be like doing everything all over again. Uh, and during the off season, our head coach decided to take a job elsewhere, so we were left with a vacancy that was filled uh, by Andy Tool, who was uh, the youngest active Division I head coach in men's basketball, and nobody really knew what to expect. You know what? There might be some people that you could talk to or you could interview that are going to have longer resumes than I do, but no one's going to have a more specific resume for this university, this team, and this program at this point in time. I was at the Providence game when they played uh, Villanova. Seeing those kids compete the way they did, uh, you could not tell me that they were underdogs. The way we felt after losing that game against Villanova, we still have that that, that in our heart where we like, oh man, we need to get back there. We have to get back there because we have a we have a point to prove to the world. Like, we're trying to prove everybody wrong again, just like how we did last year. We've had a really difficult time scheduling. I mean, we've had a terrible time of trying to convince teams to come to Pittsburgh. A number of times I've heard you guys play too hard. You play defense too well. We don't want to play you. You know, it has been in the hundreds. The inspiration for this story truly came directly from my love for sports. Uh, I'm very passionate about finding a great story, that's the journalist in me. And then the broadcast side wants to put together something flashy, something that everybody wants to watch and that Robert Morris University as a whole could get excited about. It's not really just like a team. So like students can be proud of their campus because in the past we hadn't had anything like that. And so the opportunity to create a piece that would promote not only the basketball team, but the entire university was something that I just couldn't pass up. So we have to do that, and that's what we expect them to do this year. Here's Mez to the foul line, drops it off right side, back door. Oh, a big shot by Karan Abraham out of the corner. This program knows how to win, and success breeds more success. I really think with the team we hired this year, we can go a lot farther. I don't know if the bar has a height limit. This team, even though it's Division I, gets overshadowed by, by Pitt and by Duquesne. Uh, so this was a great chance for Robert Morris to get its name out there in a way that they had never done before. We got to get the people on campus to come first. You know, we got to get the people that are 100 feet away and come and support these guys. You know, they had their year to charm, so hopefully this is that year. Just sit back and watch this run. Be prepared to give every single thing you have in your body and your team and your program to beat us.